I'm going to show you how to recognize a common edible mushroom that flourishes in cool weather called the bluet mushroom. And uh, it is not blue, it is more of a sort of light purpley color turning to a light brownish color over the course of time. But they grow in leaf litter uh, and are pretty abundant in cool weather. So one of the things that I wanna start with right off the top of the identification feature list, besides the sort of cool color, is that they have pale-ish gills that uh, have some of this sort of pinky lilac color as the mushroom matures. So that's the color of the spores. But also uh, the um, gills are attached to the stem, but they are a really distinctive feature. So you have mushrooms, like this is a pine spike mushroom. It has gill type things and they run down the stem. But in the case of your bluet mushroom, you have nice tightly packed gills that are really pale and, uh, and spores that are pale. So they remain uh, sort of pale throughout the course of their life cycle. This is sort of uh, my ideal like state to bring a blue at home to eat. The best way to prepare them is to cook them thoroughly. I really uh, recommend dry sauteing them, which basically is you put them in a pan without any uh, oil and let them drop a lot of the water that is in the surfaces of them. So in addition to uh, those pale gills, you have a stem that doesn't have a lot of features on it. So a lot of mushrooms, have like a ring on the stem or a cup at the base. Your bluet mushrooms, it's just sort of a little bit, uh, you know, the purplish color shows up behind kind of a whitish flossy uh, surface here. So this is a really nice one. I think also it has one of the coolest features of this species, you don't always see it, where there's sort of a margin that is uh, a little bit waffly and wavy, but also more purpley on the outside and brown on the inside. So, uh, you know, that's just sort of an aesthetic thing that I really like, but as they get really big, it can become a very, very pronounced sort of difference here. This is a good example of a bluet I wouldn't bring home, but also one that is really mature and shows the color of those pale gills. And I keep accentuating that because there are a few lookalikes in the Cortinarius genus in particular uh, that have very rusty brown spores and oftentimes a cobwebby ring on the stem. And so if you look at an old cort or Cortinarius, these would be rusty, rusty brown uh, and also you'd have like a little bit of floofiness probably on your stem. But uh, with the bluets, they're really quite dainty and beautiful and simple underneath.